Hey guys, it's Jeff from Adirondack Woodsman, and uh, I've got to make one uh, one quick repair this morning to the uh, 1222. Um, the bar that goes in for tow the towing bar, um, there's a pin that, let's see if I can come over here and show you, there's a pin that's supposed to slide in, um, and it's got a... Uh, what do you call it? it the, the, the end of it, I'll see if I can show you when I get it out, but the end of it's got a piece that uh, kind of can turn 90 degrees that kind of locks it in. The problem I have is that I was putting the pin in yesterday to move the, the splitter back under cover, and I think the right angle collapsed underneath and so I can no longer pull it out or push it in because it's at a right angle and so what I'm gonna do is take off the uh, tray here and I'm gonna try to see if I can lift it up and cut it and that way it should fall back in uh, there should be room for it to fall back in then I can pull the whole thing out and get the piece in the middle out and then I'll probably replace it with a different type of pin um, so that I don't have this happen again so uh, so yeah so that's what we're doing this morning so the first thing that we have to do is remove the tray so uh, I'm not crazy over that pin either just because it's one of those that has a uh, see if I can see it uh, I have to come way back here I'll show you when I get it out. There it is. Um, it's one that has a, uh, it's like spring loaded and it's so tight in there that uh, sometimes it's hard to get it on and off, but we'll, we'll pull it out. Okay, so we should be able to slide the tray out now. Okay, so you can see here what I mean by it won't go up, it won't come all the way through, it won't go down, it just kind of collapsed in there. So like I said, we're going to pull it up, cut it, and then let it fall back down in. i got to make sure I have it hold, held up, otherwise uh, I'll cut it and it'll, it'll be stuck in there permanently, so we don't want that. Um, that way there's a room, there'll be room to let it down. Okay, so I had multiple cutoff tools. I decided to go with the Sawzall only because I want to get as close as I can to the bottom here. So we'll see how it goes.
okay. Easy enough. It looks like it went all the way down, so. There we go. And there's the culprit. Basically it folded over once I started putting it in. And uh, so there's no way when I was pulling up it was just catching like that. So basically we're gonna replace this pin with just a straight pin with a cotter pin underneath, which I actually like better as a better design anyways. But that's just me. So anyways, we got that all taken care of. Now we got to go down to Tractor Supply, get myself a replacement pin, and we should be all set. Okay, so I'm switching to this type of a pin. I think it's the right length, but we'll find out when we get the, uh, we get the stem in. So it's a little tight, the cotter pin. Not the cotter pin, the uh... There we go. Okay, so we're in there. Okay, now we just need to put the tray back. And uh, I uh, went with... What, what came with this was this type of pin. Uh, the problem is, is whenever I try to bend this down to undo it, this ends up hitting uh, back here. Back here, it ends up hitting this, and I can't seem to get enough uh, length. It's hard to get it apart. So I got a one that's a square one. We're gonna try that. I hope. I think this is probably the, probably not too long, but uh, let's put it on and we'll take a look. aluminum this isn't that light <laughs> it's thick aluminum this over here just got to get the hole at the right angle there we go and that attaches much easier so if I need to take the tray out but I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this little short video, and uh, if you run into the same problem, you know exactly what you got to do to fix it. So, um, hope you have a great day, and uh, go ahead and subscribe if you're not already, and uh, give me a thumbs up, and uh, leave a comment. Have a great day, everybody.